Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Design Candy, and welcome to another episode of Planet Coaster. In today's episode, we will be talking about and implementing uh, the free summer update from Planet Coaster. It dropped about a week ago, and they released some really, really cool things. Uh, things like fireworks displays, um, custom, like all custom firework displays where we can use a new thing called the display sequencer and trigger uh, all kinds of events in the park. Um, you can set them to music. They have new rides and roller coasters. And then what we're working on now is the video billboard. Gosh, this has literally elevated Planet Coaster in my head to another level. The reason why I say that, because it brings me back to the good old Roller Coaster Tycoon three days where we were able to customize a lot of different things, but we've never had the availability to customize video billboards. So the minute that I saw that, my mind went wild. Uh, I, as a profession, I do creative arts and design, um, and I'm very skilled with video editing, as you guys can see. Maybe not. <laughs> Hold your opinion for that. But uh, I do a lot of video editing, and I use utilize the software uh, After Effects, Adobe After Effects. And I have experience with multiple screen uh, video shoots. Uh, where you have to design for five, six, to you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screens, and have the screen stitched to one image, and play that one image consistently, and that's kind of the idea that I had with you know my park moving forward, where we have just all customizable videos, and um, you know, stitch all those videos together to make really cool signs, and you know, make a really cool use out of my park. So right now you can see on the bottom of the screen, uh, we have one of the logos there using a billboard. And that's just a picture image, but things like that, you know, I'm always looking at crazy different things that I can use to customize uh, different aspects of the park. And so obviously signs and, and intros to rides and all that fun stuff, we're gonna be using customizable graphics and customizable video billboards for all of them. So I do want to explain my process. This is a little bit shorter video than I typically do just because I want to show you guys exactly how to do it um, and what to do. So I went into After Effects. This works for videos and uh, pictures as well. So if you want to do pictures, all you have to do is go into Photoshop uh, and kind of implement the same type of strategy. But I went into After Effects and created a composition. In that composition, I created two rectangles basically for the two screens and then I created two separate files after I created the two separate files you place the composition that you originally created and map them into the files. so obviously you take the left portion of the screen and put it in the left file and then the right portion of the screen uh, with the original comp and put them in the right file. Then you, you go back to the original composition that's double wide uh, with the ratio of uh, double 1080p or double 720p, and then you animate in there. So I then take Photoshop graphics and then animate them back, you know, back, back inside. With this graphic particular that you see on the screen, that's a graphic on the bottom half, and then it's a news ticker on the top half that I just put some text and copy to emulate, you know, like a upcoming event or something cool like that. So. In a, in a nutshell, that's what I did. Uh, I have a tutorial that I can link in the description so you guys can also check that out as well. Uh, just gives you a little bit more clarity about multi-screen saving out of After Effects. Uh, but I haven't seen a lot of this where people are using two, three, or four screens as one image inside of Planet Coaster. And so, um, yeah, I think this is like really cool and it's very realistic to what a modern theme park would do. And as you can see here, like the tickets and admission sign, you know, it's a video that says front gate, but also it's a, you know, a steal that it goes to and it, you know, it's, it, it's, it's new age, it's new technology. I think if somebody is developing an amusement park, uh, this is exactly what they would do. So again, after effects, you have your main composition. Then you have two, you create two more compositions. You do the math and calculate uh, two times the width of 1080p. And then you turn around with your main composition and throw those into the two composition files. Then 
animate the main composition and then save out the two individual files on top of that and you have stitch screens and later on in the episode i don't know if you guys are on twitter or not check out my twitter account i uh previewed a lot of this stuff before on twitter uh actually probably two weeks ago when i first got this and i was trying to figure it out by all means this took me forever to figure out uh just how to do compositions and that type of thing so if you're interested hit me up on twitter uh follow me on twitter you can see a lot of previews for the rides that i'm doing or even the episodes that are coming out next so i do preview everything there so check it out so next in this episode we are moving more towards the front and basically I just want a bigger version of the signs that are inside so I want a big front gate you know with these digital LED billboards that's what I mean that's what they really are in real life these would be LED billboards so I want like this big huge presence that when people walk in they can you know automatically see okay what's the ticket prices okay what's the branding of the park um, and all that fun stuff so these turned out really really cool it took me a minute to flush out um, just the different edges and the lines and get everything lined up perfectly uh, just how I placed these I placed them a little bit jankety and so another thing with this park and doing the video LED billboards I will tell you guys I still have not figured out a flawless method what that means is every every five to ten minutes that the in-game time goes these screens get out of sync and I have not I haven't been able to figure out why so anybody in uh, Planet Coaster Land, any developers that happen to see this video or if you're a seasoned YouTuber or seasoned Planet Coaster player and you know why, I know this update's fairly new, but every time it's literally, I maybe get two to three minutes and they're out of sync and I just can't figure out why. Maybe because the game's not designed to do what we're doing with the stitch, stitch screens. Uh, that could be it, or maybe I'm doing something wrong, or processing power and speed, or something. So something's going on. I have no idea, but uh, that's one thing that you know be mindful of. So we're wrapping up the front gate area uh, with these cool billboards. Again, all we're doing this episode are billboards. Uh, that's all I really had time for. I actually have another episode dropping in the ooh preview time. In the next episode, we will be building our first water ride, like a River Rapids ride, and using a bunch of clipping and a bunch of scenery, and it's gonna be super massive, so get ready for that. But check out the view of the front gate now. Looks really, really cool. So we are gonna move on to the front of the park. So after you get to the park and and walk down through uh, the main street. This is the view that you will see. And I have another video prepared for that. Uh, one of the cool things that I wanted to try to do was to make an enclosure for the screens. So again, if you follow me on Twitter, I've been teasing this a little bit, but I made a video that had five. So five of these 1080p screens stitched together or 16 by nine ratio screens all stitched together playing one video so can you imagine that it was massive um it was insane and it did not work i i would have maybe five to ten frames per second looking at the screens and then i would try to zoom out and then i would maybe have 15 to 20 frames it was so bad that I actually, you know, on accident, I saved the game with the video still loaded. And it was the worst thing you can do because every time then I would load into the game, it would take an extra three to four minutes just to load the game because of those stitch videos. So unless there's an update or something changes, my recommendation would be if you're following this for a tutorial, which a lot of you probably will be my recommendation would be to not use more than three videos uh three max because even two is kind of shaky three kind of gets me a little bit worried but two videos max and don't go over three or excuse me three videos max and try to stay within two so what we're doing right now is we're building an enclosure for the screen so I envision like a TV screen wall with a backdrop 
uh, just to make it look a little bit more flush and a little bit more modern uh, instead of just you know seamless edge screens attached to some you know like literally if we didn't do this it, it would be two there'd be four or five screens attached to flowers super not realistic so we had to make it look at least a little realistic that uh, screens could be there and kind of cover up the foliage and cover up the rocks and cover up the trees so it looks flush and I had a bunch of issues here that we were just working through um, just figuring out how to clip the screens right you have to have so when you're doing multiple videos for your screens you have to have consistency in your heights consistencies in your spacing or your videos just won't look good because remember they're one long video so I would just delete the the screens and then keep replacing them so I can get the duplicate tool um, and then I can get that consistency and position for these screens and it turned out flawlessly just placing that so there you have it. I think what we do next is we place uh, some sort of roof on top of these screens. I believe so. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, we do. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna place a roof on top of the screen to complete like this enclosure that we have. And I think I'm looking for the wood piece. I love Planet Coaster and all their, their customization techniques and tools. I, I'm still getting used to it. I've only played this game man max 24 hours ish which for a youtuber that does city skylines video that's not a lot at all but i'm starting to get a, get the hang of the tools i'm starting to get the hang of you know everything that you can do and customize and yeah i'm i'm, I'm pushing out stuff again like i said I, and i'm recording this later i actually have the next episode already recorded so i have um the water ride that we were working on that I that I teased a little bit earlier, but just getting the hang of how to place, you know, place different scenery props and different things. And the funniest, it's the funniest thing ever. You guys can't see, but I've cut a lot of me going back out and going back in, going back out and readjusting videos and coming back in to see if the vi videos work readjusted and then going back out. And it's, it's kind of a tedious process to get these videos to work, but once you do, it looks so amazing. And here we go. So I put all the videos in there and let's test it out. Let's see if it works. Boom. Okay, looks like we have a little issue here on the right screen and we gotta go back in and edit it. Another thing just, you know, for a tip is when you're editing these videos, you have to re-edit everything. So just FYI. Okay, let's see if it works now. Oh, almost not working yet. Getting close. Okay, so we're gonna reload all the videos in there. I literally have to do every single one so they all time up. Okay, let's see if we get it now. Perfect. There it is. Perfect, so there we have it. Three screens all stitched together with a custom video in the beginning of the park. We also have the front gate as well too, so don't forget about that. Well, that wraps it up for this episode. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button, smash it multiple times. Share this video with anybody in the Planet Coaster community or anybody in the roller coaster, you know, theme park community that wants to see this. I think it's a really, really cool idea. I'll be implementing these things all throughout the park. So stay tuned to the next episode where we build our River Rapids water ride with a bunch of scenery and a bunch of different trips that we have so this is your boy design candy thank you guys so much for checking out the channel peace